Researchers are one step closer to lab-grown robots made of real flesh and blood. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and today we're going to take a look at this. In a paper published in the journal Science Robotics, researchers from the University of Tokyo detailed how they grew muscle that they were then able to manipulate remotely to make it perform different tasks. They first had to construct a skeleton with a rotatable joint. It also needed sites for the muscles to attach to, as well as electrodes to make them contract and release. Their second step in this process was to then take hydrogel that contained myoblasts, or a muscle precursor cell. These precursor cells grew into muscle cell lined sheets, and then eventually into skeletal muscle, usable contracting muscle. After they had their lab-grown muscles, they attached them to their skeleton to form a biohybrid type robot that was actuated by electricity. Now these researchers aren't the first to create a biohybrid robot. It has been done before, but what they did was overcome a major flaw in the design. Previous attempts to do this a date all the way back to 2016 found that the muscles that were grown in a lab or harvested from rats or sea slugs all broke down and deteriorated rather rapidly, making them really not functional at all. Well, it turns out the fix for this problem wasn't really that hard, and I'll let Shoji Takuchi tell you what they did. In his statement, he says, Once we had built the muscles, we successfully used them as antagonistic pairs in the robot, with one contracting and the other expanding, just like in the body. The fact that they were exerting opposing forces on each other stopped them shrinking and deteriorating like they did in previous studies. So as of right now, the robot itself isn't that exciting. Basically, it picks things up and puts them down like you've seen in the video. But with the new approach developed by this team, these muscles were able to stay alive and active for a week without any signs of deterioration. And from there, it's only going to get better. And according to the paper's lead author, Yuye Morimoto, our findings show that using this antagonistic arrangement of muscles, these robots can mimic the actions of a human finger. If we can combine more of these muscles into a single device, we should be able to reproduce the complex muscular interplay that allow hands, arms, and other parts of the body to function. And that is what makes this so interesting. What we are seeing here is the precursors to Ghost in the Shell or Robocop. So now I want to know what you think. Is this a good idea for the muscular system of a robot? There are already a lot of other mechanical means to do this. What is the benefit of making a robot out of flesh and blood? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Every click will help my channel grow. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you know when I put out something new. I've been having some problems getting my videos out recently, so I don't want to tell you Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I shoot for it every day. A lot of things will be going on. It just hasn't been happening. But hopefully before too long, I will get back in that swing. So just stick with me until then. And, uh, yeah. and until next time, have fun and be safe.